Hello, dear friends. Let's try this cup of tea I just bought today. So now I need to open it up. Unfortunately, this one is not like to damage it. Let's see if I can open like this. Oh, that's good. I did not damage it. And You can hear that I'm boiling water right now, slowly, slowly, okay, at least I can open it, not by my hand. My spoon. Hello. And the tea is just boiling perfect. Ooh, such is the tea. So Put. I will first wash the tea. Okay, that's enough for the night. this away and prepare for my <clears throat> for my throw it away let's see it's kind of raising the Rinsing the tea. So totally out to the last drop. Now I throw that one away and put in for real. Close the lid, throw this one away, and we wait for the tea. Okay, now we can work on the lid as usual as last time good there got to be a better way of doing it but uh oh <laughs> before I found find it I will do it this way still. Right. 
this. Almost all good. Good. So we are all good now. And this is Tie Guanyin. Tie Guanyin translates as Iron Goddess of Mercy. So Guanyin Pusa is uh, is the goddess of mercy. Tie Guanyin is Tie is I I goddess of mercy. And uh, is mainland China's most famous Wulong tea. Wulong tea. Wulong teas are made by first gently and slowly rolling the green leaves and then allowing partial oxidation to occur. So it's not full oxidation. And in other way, we call it semi-fermented oxidation or fermentation. Yeah, uh, Just different way of saying it, right? So partial oxidation is uh, half fermented. When the tea is fully per fermented, it becomes uh, uh, black tea or uh, poor tea. Those kind of teas get better with age. And it's like wine, 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 w, the, the drinking wine, the alcohol, the wine. It goes better with age. And uh, the aging is the value of uh, of uh, the product. Wine gets better with age, and tea, some kind of tea, gets better with age. That kind of uh, ferment fermented tea or oxidation um, oxidized tea gets better with age. And uh, what? I usually drink is green tea, and uh, green tea needs to be fresh. The better is uh, when it is uh, fresh. And Tie uh, Guan Yin is uh, it's still better to be fresh, but it's halfly fermented, so it develops a new flavor that is not so raw, not so grassy like uh, green tea and not so bitter. It has this aging uh, beauty. It's like uh, our human beings. We get uh, older people or elder people or senior people has uh, possess a beauty that uh, that uh, young young people just do not have. That's the beauty of experience, of knowledge, of wisdom, that kind of um, of uh, of uh, depths of beauty, and so <coughs> this Tie Guan Yin tea has uh, halfly developed like that, and uh, so it is partially uh, oxid oxidized, and partial oxidation to occur. It's it's a partial oxidation, not enough enough to develop black tea flavor. So it's not enough to be black tea, but enough to mellow the greenness of the tea leaf. Am I in the right zooming? I cannot see. I think it's better here. Okay. So it is not so raw, not so grassy, not so green. It is more cultured. Uh, and developed, uh, or in in the human term, is civilized, <laughs> and um, a little bit more uh, educated, or or developed, or, or seasoned, right? And uh, <coughs> Tie Guan Yin is known for its lightly oxidized leaf, with a unique crumpled appearance. The cup is floral nutty and herbal with an undercurrent of fruit. Okay, let's